What's up everyone, Ryan here, and it's time for episode two of my It Be The Show 24 Road To The Show career series, and what an epic episode one it was. Ryan Gamer was drafted by the Cincinnati Reds after the MLB Prospect Combine. It was the seventh round, fourth pick in the seventh round, and what a dream it is. That's what I've always wanted from this career mode series, and it's time to prove that we can make it from double A up to the Louisville Bats and then work our way to the show and make our debut at Great American Ballpark for the Cincinnati Reds. This series is going to be epic. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And I have a full playlist link for you all down in the description if you're looking for other episodes in this series. So they have changed the menu here in Road to the Show. So you can actually access practice right off this main menu instead of clicking on the calendar. You can also go straight to your My Player and they just kind of change the way where everything is located, but it has the same exact options, right? So let's go ahead to our first game. Ryan Gamer makes his double A debut today for the Chattanooga Lookouts. Let's have a big debut, everybody. It is baseball season. Batting fourth for this Chattanooga lineup here. We are the f second ranked overall on this player. That Love that. So, uh, the only one above us is Nick Martini sitting 66 overall. Now, the lowest starter for the Reds is Will Benson. There in right field is sitting 70 overall. So for us to move up to the majors, we've got to make it to around 70 overall. We can do that. Let's do this. I'm fired up, everybody. Get your one and times ready. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. It's opening day on the show. It's the Chattanooga Lookouts and the Birmingham Barons. All set for the start of this inning. And now the right fielder, number 12. And a special moment now as he steps up to the plate for the first time in his professional career. These are the moments you live for. All right, what do we got here? Four seam, 91 to 96 miles per hour. We got a change up, slurve, and two seam. Give me that fastball low. Let's get a home run. Here comes the pitch. Here's a fly to left. Change up. I was late on it too. Puts it away for the out. Well, not the start you want here in the minors, but it's a long season. Long road ahead. Now his skills at the plate and in the field allowed him to excel in the amateur ranks. The question is, will that prowess translate to the professional level? Oh, it'll translate, Ben. It'll translate. Seventh round pick in 2023. You can see that. We got a runner on second here. Our first at bat with runners in scoring position. And that's in for a Good pitch. It's right in my weak spot. Anything up in the zone, you all are going to learn if you're new here. That's where I struggle. That misses Good eye. The zone. And the count two and one. One strike. The PCI is so massive here when you're facing double A pitchers. Like it's, it, but then as we move up to triple A for the bats, it'll be a lot different. And, and especially in the they majors. Been able to put up much offense in this one, but on a three-one count, that might change. Their we'll hits per goes. nine and clutch stats are much lower, of course, here in the double A, as you would here expect. Three, one. Right through there. Didn't want it. That was one you'll want back. Right in the heart of the one zone. time. Got to punish that. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Right in, right in Ryan's weak spot. It's all right. We'll get it going. We'll get it going. Welcome to the minors. Welcome to the minors. We have not had a play in the field yet. I do have fielding turned on. So. That one miss. Not surprising that the pitcher's teasing the zone a bit with this big spot and the power at the plate. Go. Fly left field. On the move. Go. And makes the grab. Good contact. Good swing. The first baseman, number 44. Alex. That was a good contact. Good swing. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, number 12. So it seems like they have a different commentator here for the minors in Road to the Show. You have Ben covering the minor leagues. So you have runner on first and second. One out. Leisure on the mound. Four seam change up slider. Two seam cutter. Give me that cutter right low in the zone. First pitch doesn't find the that, zone. That's not what I meant. Time for him on the mound. I'm interested to see how he handles this situation. 
Wow, I love MLB The Show so much. Ground ball right side could be two. Thought it was a fastball. They get one, and that's two. It just dropped. Good, good change up. Second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop who completes the play, and they get out of the jam and end the inning. You know, historically speaking, we look at Ryan Gamer's history in MLB The Show across all the different series from 21 here to 24. Ryan historically struggles in game so one of any series. Over four so far. Base is loaded. Out twice and also grounded out and struck out. Imagine our first hit being a grand slam. We have a 3-0 lead here in the top of the ninth. Ryan, the punisher, up to the plate. He's got to punish this baseball. Swing and a drive Go! deep left field. Pretty Go! Far back there. To the warning track, makes the catch. So they get three runs in the inning, but they also leave the bases loaded. We move on now to the bottom of it. Shake your head, nine. shake it off, and move on. Good on swing. Three to nothing. Ryan got gifted a slider in the zone in a perfect home run spot. Just not seeing the ball well. Right now. Certainly a frustrating game at the plate. I think he'd be the first to tell you he's capable of better. I'm sure he's glad they got the win, though. Yeah, I agree. We got the win, and that's great, but Ryan has to do better than 0 for 5. Okay, so this is new. You actually get the screen at the end of showing how you did. 0 for 5. Let's not look at the 2024 stats. Seventh round pick by the best team in baseball, the Cincinnati Reds. We have the number five right fielder prospect. I, I do like that it shows that. Okay, <laughs> Ryan, wake up, right? Hey, I'm going to pause the video, take a screenshot there in the replays, and I'm going to shake it off, and we are going to dominate in game two. But if you all remember in the prospect game, Ryan Gamer was 0 for 4, 0 for 5 in game one, and then dominated the rest of the game. So it happens. Just shake it off. In baseball, you have to have the shortest memory ever, right? If you let your struggles continue to think, dwell on them, you're in trouble. Like, and the next batter, the course. right fielder. The right fielder, number 12. Come on, let's wake up, YouTube. I'm fired up right now. And here we go. Swing and this That's gone, right? Too far underneath it. Pulls it down for the catch. That was a gift. That was a gift. Ryan Gamer, of course, is a switch hitter. It's batted now from both sides of the plate, and that's 0 for 6 here to start his double A career. <laughs> He's hitless going into his second double-A game, and I'm sure he's thinking now would be a good time to get that batting average off the runway. Fouled off. He was late. Good pitch. Here comes the 0-1. Curveball hit right back to him. What a play by the pitcher. I thought that was going to get through. Should not have chased that. I'm swinging it too much. You know... When I've been playing MLB The Show 23 a lot to prepare for this. Hey, we're finally in the field. And getting used to double A after being so used to the speed of the majors, it's just, it's so different, right? We should be crushing the ball right now, and we will. I feel like pitch velocity is harder now on MLB The Show 24 on the same difficulty. Wait, what's this mean? Cranked out to right center. What is happening? Yes! Ryan, the punisher. You know the team is fired up after. Okay, that was awesome. Nice to see your teammate putting everything on the line. That's that's new and that is amazing. <laughs> Look at Ryan Gamer. Trying to prove the critics wrong. The critics of course have a lot to say about Ryan after his poor showing in the MLB prospect combine, the worst filter in the combine. And what a catch. Makes makes a statement there, the Cincinnati Reds saying, hey, I can make some plays in the field. 3-2 ball game here in the top of the seventh. Nobody on. Here's the pitch. And that one fouled off. I'm just not seeing the ball well at all. Wake up. Ball one there. Good eye. 
Just got to be more patient. That's why I had so much success in MLB The Show 23 because of plate discipline. This one is labeled. That's gone. One carrying. That's got to be gone, right? Snags it on the warning track. 102 off the bat. How did that not go? Ryan's got warning track power. The wind must be strong today. At the plate, the third baseman. Oh no, this is when your teammates get nervous when they see Ryan about to get a field. A play in the field, they don't know. This is when you all get nervous too. I get nervous, trust me. Hoping to put the tying run aboard. In the air, right field. And it stays fair. Round first and digging for second. Should have hit sank it right off the bat, easily. but don't trust Ryan in the field with the, our throw accuracy. Good hit. One out and a runner at second. No 0 for right 3. We'll hit next. Wait, 0 for 8. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. Swing and a rocket. Go! That's gone! That's back. This yes! one is gone. Come on! Our first career Ryan's home run! To the opposite field, and they take the lead. Ryan has been Five, called three. a feast or famine well, prospect. He has ball. been called he a feast or famine prospect. A moment to treasure his home run or nothing. Double-A level. That's got to feel great, and I'm sure the organization is hoping to see him belt many more round trippers. Nice job by the what a rip. That one the opposite way for the homer. Y'all haven't seen the new bat flips yet. You'll see them. Number 12 was fantastic in the win. Just the one hit, but it was a homer. Opposing pitchers will want to take note of how he performed in this one. If he puts together games like this frequently, he won't be at this level for long. Okay, I love Ben. Hey. This is this commentator loves us. One for four. He said he played fantastic. Well, we'll take it. One for nine, a home run and two RBIs in the series. Last game, we don't talk about last game. Don't show that. <laughs> Please don't show that. That's a nice presentation touch, though. It really is. I love that they added that. Well, uh, hey, got our first hit here in double A ball, and Orion was able to send it out of the park for a two run shot. Now, our team gets the win, too, so Ryan is undefeated in his stint here for the Chattanooga Lookouts. They better look out for Ryan Gamer, right? The beast is unleashed. So, let's go ahead and dive on to the next game of the series. Okay, YouTube, we're just going to silence the critics. All right, Ryan Gamer said, I'm making a statement. And he's been so frustrated watching espn watching mlb network everybody talking about how he can't play in the field and he goes to the training sessions works works with his personal trainer jerry and watch so if anybody wants to question ryan gamers fielding skills well you can't you can try. He's proved that he can play. Now that's one play. Let's let's make sure we do a few other ones. But hey, what a play! You know, it's always nice when you can silence the critics uh, in your second game in Double A ball. Now Ryan with 35 speed. How did he make that? Well, hard work and dedication. It's about perseverance. You know, Ryan Ryan's personal trainer Jerry had him working on fly balls for like five hours before this game so so up next <laughs> the right fielder here we go the right fielder right ryan was very disappointed he's like i got a reputation to handle jerry has a reputation across all of ryan gamer sports people blame jerry for a lot of ryan gamer struggles and he was upset after the prospect combine here we go we're up two zero the fans dropped at one time all right it's gone First offering just misses. Good eye. Hard to lay off of that. Ryan's batting 111. And that's too hot. Yeah. Oh. I think he pitch speed, uh, pitch speed the on the same difficulty is much quicker this year. It's, this it's much faster. Like, it's this not even close to me. And I've been playing a lot of the other game wondering. leading up to this, and it's <laughs> this is so much away. faster. I'm here for it. The first baseman, number 44. The batter, number 12. 
One for 10. Not what you want to see, but at least we got a home run. 2-0 ball game. Runner on first. One out. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good take there, Ryan. One time. The fans are dropping the one times. They know. Just off the inside edge. Can you believe Reds finally did not miss out on generational talent? They finally drafted the future of the MLB in Ryan Gamer. Seeing him fall behind in the count like this, he could give up his first walk here. One time, they're dropping. I love this. They're dropping a lot of one times. I don't want it. Not going to swing up, up in the zone on 3-0. He shook his head yes. I'm guessing fastball. Three and one. Couldn't come I'll up. take a walk. First walk. Good eye there from Ryan Gamer. That's the plate okay. discipline Next he showed in MLB 23. Oh, base running. Oh, good, good. <laughs> good, good. Everybody's most entertaining part. And they're all loaded up. Just don't make a mistake, Ryan. Just please. The lookouts trying so to much easier when you hit home runs. Top half of the third. I'm finding that right field is a lot harder than I was expecting. That's tough. A lot harder than I was expecting. We had much easier plays in 23 on from left field. Left field and even center field in 22. That much easier plays. And a swing and a miss. And that retires the side. Come on, Josh. Where's the emotion on the sleeve? But as that's tough. As we go to the last of the third, stepping in the left fielder. Left fielder. We go. This is when the eyes light up. Honestly, Ryan's entertaining in the field for fans because it's like you just don't know what's going to happen. Routine fly ball. Not when Ryan's out there. There's no such thing. Routine throw. No. <laughs> Line drive for a base hit right field. Around first and heading for second. That's Why do I keep hitting up. the cutoff? The manager is going to be having a long talk with Ryan Gamer in the dugout after that one. It's like, Ryan, trust your arm. I mean, does everybody hit a rope to right field? <laughs> I mean, does everybody hit a rope to right? Second chance for a grand slam. This Chattanooga team is on fire, aren't we? 3 0, bases loaded, one out. Hit hard on That's the ripped. Makes the grab. Runners tagging from second and third. Sometimes in baseball, the block. you hit it hard, but right to the defender. Right. Hit that right to the right fielder. That was a great swing. 104 off the bat. We scored the run, though, so we will take it. Sack fly. Now it's the shortstop. That was ripped. I like playing right field. It's it's kind of electric. Like you one don't one know him. what's gonna happen. That one hit to right, and that'll fall for a base hit. Could we have slid? It's Ryan Gamer we're talking about. He has 35 fielding. No, <laughs> we could not have slid. I'm just being honest, like we're 64 overall. This is not the Ryan you all know from past series. The next inning. Now it's the right fielder, number 12. Or one ball game, top the seventh. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and up. The best thing they did was to take out the progression between shared between Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty. It should have never been in there, and they finally took it out, took it out again. I, I know in the past it was already not linked with Diamond Dynasty, but I didn't start playing the show till 21 that drops in when it came to Xbox. Because I never had a PlayStation. But they should not... Career ball. mode should not be connected to online modes. Especially, you know, ultimate team modes. Like, this is a much better progression. Brian almost knocked the, knocked the pitcher out. Our first perfect perfect. What a rip on that curve. 108 off the bat. That pitcher got... Got down fast, and they had to. That was a rope. So up next, the first baseman, number 44. On Ryan, show him that you can run the bases. That's another thing the critics have really critiqued. 
two, two. Rightfully so, though. And a frozen rope into center for a base hit. Rope Always nice when you don't have an error, first right? Second now with nobody out. That's not exactly a textbook decision <laughs> to swing there, but he made it work. Hide Might be boring to count, watch some people run the bases, the but for Ryan Gamer, you just never know what's going to happen out there. It's, it's exciting. <laughs> Sometimes not in a good way, though. But still, that's the excitement that Ryan Gamer brings. He's not a good base runner so or fielder. In, the designated hitter, number seven. With the DH, Hendrick up to the plate here on a 1-1 count. Two but runners on. Waiting. Nope, up there. This could be the action pitch right here with runners on and a hitter's count. Wait, it says we have 48 speed. Oh, okay, Good that's because now. of our shoes. Ball three. I thought it was action pitches only. These aren't action. Pickoff throw. Back in okay. safely on the die. I was ready. That's because I'm I'm holding down left constantly because I've made that mistake in the past. Here in the top half of the seventh. I don't even mess with leading. Three and one couldn't come up. With a good walk. We will take that. That was close. Josh Harris. Josh, come on. No outs here. Just rip one. Liner caught at second, and they tag the runner for the out. I don't know what I didn't see a thing. Uh, welcome back to Gamer Ability, everybody. So I, I, I don't know what happened right there. I, <laughs> Ryan lost control there for a second, but hey, we're back. Try Let's just hit a grand slam. Base is loaded. We don't talk about that. I don't want to see a comment about that base running error. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. One and one. Here's the pitch. Swing and oh, a foul. Slow Thank you. And that's just foul. One, two. I'm just chasing. I want a home run so bad. That one misses. Good low. eye. Nice take. Two balls, two strikes. And now it's one it. three and two. Spoils the two strike off. That's a great pitch. Up. Look at that spot at the bottom Martini left of the screen. That's an amazing pitch. Foul will see another payoff pitch. Long at bat. Right here, one time. One time. Yes! The bat flip! You can forget it. That's a grand slam. That thing is launched out of the ballpark, everybody. A four-run shot, Grand year, Slam. And they boost their lead. Look at it's that. Bottom right of the screen. Did you all see that? 109, 443 that feet. Had to feel great. That's the furthest home run Ryan's ever hit in the minors. That ball was blasting on a perfect, perfect shot. It's always nice to see a team effort come together like this. They set the table for him, and he unloaded the bases with the Grand Slam. That's a throwback bat flip from a past MLB The Show series and also a throwback to Ryan Gamer's slam dunk ability in NBA 2K23. Two away and a runner in scoring position here. And next, the cleanup hitter, number 12. What a game. Homered in this ball game. Ryan's back, everybody. This is Ryan Gamer we know and love. 13-2 ball game. This Lookouts team is on fire. In there for strike one. That's a pitch to hit. Slider right in the zone. This team has 14 hits to their nine. How oh, I love baseball. Like, I, I love Emma Be the Show. I love Road to the Show. Just absolutely love it. Such a satisfying video game when you line up that perfect, perfect. 0 oh, 2, and the delivery. Line to left. That's just and textbook that hitting. Like Waiting on it, third. sitting it low and away. That's an RBI stand-up double. Ryan's going to slide to be fancy, two. but he didn't need he to. Continues this huge game, even if that one did stay in the yard. What a performance. Ryan, that, that play in the field by Ryan Gamer got him fired up. <laughs> I mean, what?
This man is is on fire right now. And now the first baseman, number 44. Welcome to the Ryan Gamer Show, everybody. Best base runner in the history of baseball. Chappelle. There with plenty of time. Inning over. It's two runs on. Said nobody ever. <laughs> number 12 was just terrific for them in the win. A three hit performance, including a homer. Always great to see a player as locked in as he was in this one. Every at bat felt like an opportunity to see him deliver. Uh, you know, I like Ben. Ben's done a good job. I like the commentating. They're not mentioning Ryan not wearing batting gloves, which, I mean, he has batting gloves, but that is three for four, four for 13 on the series, two home runs, eight RBIs. Ryan Gamer, the Punisher, is back punishing baseballs like he does best. <laughs> Let's go. Wanted to show this. Look at the excitement from Ryan Gamer here. This bat flip is electric. And also, listen to the sound off the bat. Are you all ready? I can listen to that sound all day. Look at that excitement. Ryan the Punisher is back. He punished that baseball right there. The slam dunk bat flip. You know, when I grew up playing baseball, you weren't allowed to celebrate at all. But wow, if I would have played baseball in modern era, I would. this would have been my bat flip, right? Like, that would have 100% been my bat flip every single time. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to head to the clubhouse and then head into the next games in the series. This Chattanooga team is on fire. Like, what? This team is on another level. <laughs> we are on fire right now. Six RBIs for Ryan in that series. That is fantastic. That is how you play ball, everybody. Wait, so they actually finally added some... Di you don't go always go to the clubhouse right away. It actually is showing Ryan Gamer on the bus. I mean, it looks like a bus. I mean, maybe this is a plane. It's definitely not a plane. This is definitely a bus. But that's pretty cool. Uh, so up next, let's check the calendar here to see... What we have next so next is the smokies okay uh, so what i think we'll do is save the next series for the next video this was a great video ryan gamer got off to uh, some great production here we are on a three game win streak and uh, that way you know eight, eight eight games in or six games in one video will be a lot right so because uh, each series will be six games. And my plan is here in the minors to play six games each series. So I'm going to play out the entire series. So today we finished against Birmingham. We won that series big time. Ryan Gamer batting 301 with two home runs, eight RBIs, a on-base percent of 333, a slugging of 846. What an insane start. And that was after going 0 for 8. Keep that in mind. Ryan Gamer goes 0 for 8. In his first eight at bats in double A ball, then hits a home run on the ninth. I believe it was the ninth. A two run shot. And then that play in that one play in the field got Ryan fired up. And he he finally was like, Yeah, we we could do this. We're back. And hits hit another home run, multiple RBIs, clutch hitting. That's how you play baseball, everybody. When you're in a slump, you keep swinging. You realize that it's baseball. It's the hardest game ever, right? Like you realize that. And you shake it off, you focus on what you can control, and you keep trying. Next up, we play against the Tennessee Smokies. Now, didn't Ryan Gamer play for the Smokies in MLB The Show 21? Does anybody know the Smokies organization? Can somebody let me know in a comment? Who are the Smokies? I want to say the Chicago Cubs, which is where Ryan was drafted in MLB The Show 21. But I could be wrong on that. If, you all could, if somebody could let me know. So we have a six-game series there. And let's take a look here at this Reds, Reds, the AAA. Okay, let's take a look at the bats. So the bats are sitting six and three. Love to see that. And then in the MLB here, uh, the Reds are sitting three and six. So they need Ryan Gamer. They need Ryan Gamer. Call this man up, everybody. No, they, they can't put Ryan in the field. Like, they can't. Yeah, we're a great hitter. Our hitting stats are great. You cannot trust Ryan in the field. Ain't nobody putting Ryan, the Punisher Gamer, in the field because he punishes his own team in the field because 
That is tough. And look, you even had the Lookouts logo on here. Okay, I do like this. We're on the bus after the game. It's a, are we, is, are we on the road? Oh, wait, look. Okay, that's cool. I, it's going to be interesting to see how this works. So we were just in Birmingham, and now we're going in front of our home fans back to Chattanooga. And I wonder if it shows the bus on the road games when you're getting ready to go on a road trip and then your clubhouse for it. No, that's not right. I will have to pay attention to the clubhouse, right? Because the clubhouse before looked like the Lookouts clubhouse before this video started, right? So I don't think that's the case, but we will see. One thing I wanted to take a look at here that we didn't take a look at in episode one is the program, right? So there should be a program to, yeah. So these, the task and rewards. So let's take a look at this program and what we have on this journey ahead. So road to the show missions, play games and road to the show to complete these missions and earn progress. So 15 played appearances, it is repeatable. 20 put outs is repeatable. So we will keep playing in the field, right? So we need to keep playing in the field for that reason. A 20 assist, okay. And then 12 hits is repeatable. We have nine already. That's including the prospect game. A five extra base hits. We have no, wait. Oh, we already must have completed that then, right? We definitely had two doubles there. And four stolen bases. Yeah, no, <laughs> we're not getting that one. One extra base hit. Okay, so just getting one, not repeatable. You get 10. So that's how we moved up in the program. The main things here, if you all have not played this series or not watched this series, you want to get all the way up to unlock your silver skill set. The skill set or your primary archetype is key. So you want to move up to silver and gold as quickly as you can, right? Uh, so... In order to do that, you have to play well, right? And there's just, that's the only way. So you will unlock perks, silver perks and equipment along the way, which is great. Uh, but this is the main one. If Ryan gets the silver here, the skill set of the Sparking Slugger, he will make the majors. 70, he'll be over 70 overall. He 100% will make the majors. So we need to try to get there as soon as we can. But what a start this is. I want to take a look at this Reds lineup. Are you all interested in seeing that? I'm sure you all are curious as well. I want to see the Reds and AAA lineup. So what do we need to get promoted to AAA? Okay, so right field at AAA 67, Connor Kappel. Now, Ryan Gamer is very close to that. And what about DH? 65. Honestly, Ryan may get called up here very soon. I mean, look at center field. Ryan can play anywhere in the outfield so they could possibly play ryan gamer at center field i don't know do they have secondary positions this year though none secondary uh, let me know in a comment if you all know if you can finally add a secondary position in the past you haven't been able to do in since i've played this game you have not been able to have a secondary position unless you're a two-way player as a pitcher and position player but what i want to know is can you actually have a secondary position because honestly i want to be right field and first base i want infield and outfield so let me know if that's possible maybe the manager will have a meeting with us so take a look at this triple a team ryan gamer could get called up really quickly here now looking at ilmo b here we go so will benson it's up to 73 overall okay so that changes things. So center field is TJ Friedel at 80. Will Benson batting second against right-handed pitchers. 73 overall. Matt McClain, they're at second base. 84 overall. Jameer Candelario, if I'm saying that name correctly, uh, is at third base. And 76 overall. You have Jonathan India, 74 overall at DH. This is where Ryan Gamer may make his position. <laughs> this is where Ryan Gamer might make it. Uh, not India is amazing, right? I love Jonathan India. I'm just saying Ryan's not great at fielding and we take a look at Will Benson He's not a great fielder either, but he's better than Ryan Gamer. He has a lot more speed a lot more range and a better arm And then you have Jonathan India there at Jake Fraley at left field 75 overall Much better fielder. Ryan Gamer is not gonna Not gonna be moved to left probably and then you have Ellie De La Cruz 99 speed 99 arm at shortstop, 79 overall. Spencer Steer at first base, 78 overall. This Reds lineup, if you're a Reds fan, you've got to be fired up for the season, right? 
this season is going to be amazing. I'm telling you all, I said this in my MLB The Show 23 series. Reds are going to make the playoffs. Reds are going to win the division. And Reds are going to have a chance to win the World Series. I'm telling you all, remember I said this, right? <laughs> remember I said this. And I want everybody in a comment down below. You might have already left a comment. Feel free to leave another one. Who will win the 2024 World Series? My hopes is the Cincinnati Reds. That's my biased pick. Uh, but I don't see how anybody beats the Dodgers. I don't see how anybody beats the Dodgers. I really don't. But I'm interested to see what everybody's guess is. And then you have Tyler Stevenson at catcher. Ryan could have been a catcher, but that seems like it would not be as fun of a position. And you all have seen Ryan's throwing ability. And it's not great. <laughs> so we'll leave the catching up to Tyler Stevenson. And we'll leave everything else not up to Ryan Gamer. And then now, so Marte is suspended right so Marte is suspended now I don't know if he's suspended here in this game he is suspended in real life for 80 games so I don't know if that's what is going on there if he is suspended in this game or if he's able to be in the roster he's not in the roster right oh yeah he is never mind so he's not suspended here in MLB the show 24 so they don't have that rust roster updated for Marte to be suspended and hey I'm glad because in this game, we need Marte when Ryan Gamer gets called up. This Reds lineup, how fired up? Does this make you all if you're a Reds fan out there? Like, are you kidding me? This Reds team is electric. What about the rotation? Let's take a look at the rotation there in the Reds. Of course, you got Hunter Green, Nick Lodolo, 77 overall, Andrew Abbott, Nick Martinez, Frankie Montez. This, this team gets me so fired up bullpen brent Suter, selmo lucas selms emilio ian antone fernando cruz and alexis diaz diaz is i know is going to have another incredible season he's phenomenal but you know the bullpen is always the question mark right the bullpen is always the question mark but it, i i think it's going to be a good year i really do and i'm excited for this reds team so there's a little preview of this series and where ryan will be in the future going to the bats and then he will be going to the cincinnati reds great american ballpark if you got some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and you can check the full playlist down in the description if you're looking for other episodes in this series if you didn't know this ryan gamer is a multi-sport athlete on the channel i have all of his other sporting endeavors linked in the description below as well and you can just ch check him out on the channel page he's been dominating in the world of wwe and honestly in most of the sports he's been playing at a high level and this baseball series is going to be a blast. I like that Ryan is much lower overall to start. He doesn't got any diamond equipment or anything like that yet. We'll get it. Hopefully, we have good pack luck as well. This is going to be a fun series. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to take in every moment. This is what I've always wanted to Ryan Gamer to play for the Cincinnati Reds. So, I'm not rushing anything. I don't care how long it takes to move to AAA or move up to the majors i'm just going to take it all in enjoy being in the reds organization something that we have not experienced on this channel yet so i will see you on the next video if you want more from me check out my second channel gamer ability to link in the description to that but as always have a fantastic day everybody